I'll just be taking this. Hello everybody and welcome back to the Never Empty Bottle. I'm Tyler Still. Uh, with the holiday seasons in full swing right now, it wouldn't be complete if we didn't talk about maybe the most, one of the most infamous characters in all of Christmas history, and that is the Grinch, which is exactly the cocktail that I'm making for you guys today. Uh, the Grinch being as famous, I don't really care for his movies. I like You got the old school one, which I liked when I was younger, and then they made the Jim Carrey version, which I think he just scared the shit out of me. Like more, his makeup was so good, it just scared me to death. So let's go ahead and count down my top five Christmas movies of all time. Number five, The Santa Claus. Tim Allen, amazing job, I love it, kind of. He kills Santa Claus to become Santa Claus. Eh, kind of a dick. Anyways, number four, Home Alone, the first one. Marvin Harry, you got the Wet Bandits, hilarious name for a couple of thieves. They suck at capturing an eight-year-old boy. Great theme to a movie. Number three, Home Alone 2. Bad parenting on display here, people. How do you forget your kid twice? Two times you forget your kid. That's just really bad parenting. Number two is going to be Christmas Vacation. This one I actually do like. I love it. The comedy is so, it's so classic and great. It's not potty humor, well, kind of potty humor. Shitter's full. But it's just, it's a good old fashioned comedy movie to me. So, big fan of Christmas Vacation. And my number one favorite Christmas movie of all time, hate me if you disagree, but it is Die Hard, people. It is listed as a Christmas movie anywhere you look. He throws Mr. Hans Gruber off the Takanomi, Taka, Taka something building. What, yippee ki mother effers. What better movie could you ask for on the holiday? So those are my top five. Now that I'm done with all that, let's go ahead and let's make this drink. So I'm going to, and I love this glass. It kind of looks like a little Christmas tree light. Except it's a huge Christmas tree light. I didn't even do that, but all right. So let's put a bunch of ice in this guy. I'm gonna use all my circular ice here to fill it up. That looks cool. We might need to use more, but uh, first thing we're gonna start off is three ounces of our peach schnapps. Ooh, I don't even know if that's an ounce right there. Oh God, it's about half an ounce. Luckily, I bought a new bottle today, so let's go ahead and put another two. And we'll say that other one was a half ounce, so we'll put another half ounce in there. So for a total of three ounces of your peach schnapps. Next, we're gonna go three ounces of our Bacardi rum here. So again, let's flip her over. I wanted to put this in my shaker, but there was so, there's so much liquid and so much booze in this one. I don't think it would have gone everywhere. I would have had a Christmas nightmare. Oh, look okay. out. Uh, next, we're going three ounces of our blue curacao. I'm like slow pouring the hell out of this. I don't know why. Just let it flow. Three ounces, look at that, it's already almost filling up this glass. Next, we're gonna go with orange juice here. So this is not freshly squeezed, this is just store-bought orange juice. Um, but it calls for 12 ounces of this, so one of these guys is 10. I had a little bit missing out of this guy, so we're gonna go ahead and pour the whole thing in there. We'll call that eight. And then we're gonna eyeball this guy. Yeah, that works for me. Call that another four for a total of 12. And then lastly, we're gonna go with four ounces of our Sprite here. So we're just gonna pour it in over the top and we're just gonna stir it up. Nice, pretty green color. Oh, that looks so delicious. So delicious. I want it to be a little bit lighter. I'm gonna give it a little more OJ. Oh, I could not have poured that any better. Yeah, that's the nice green color we're looking for. All right, lastly, we gotta garnish this bad boy. So first garnish we're gonna do, we're gonna do a couple of garnishes here. I'm going to go with my Marchino Cherries. Bloop. And we'll do two. Two's a good number. Yeah, kind of reminds me of, does he have a red nose? No, I don't think he has a red nose. What does the Grinch do? 
He just has an ugly face. Whatever. And lastly, it wouldn't be complete if we didn't garnish him with a couple of candy canes here. So I have one green one, one red one. Oh, that's nice and pretty. And I actually got the Sour Patch uh, version of the candy canes. One, I don't really like peppermint, so I don't really like the original candy canes. Uh, I, that's a lie. I do like peppermint. I just don't like the candy canes. But the, the Sour Patch, I thought it was funny for this cocktail because the Grinch, he starts off as sour and then he gets sweet. Oh, Tyler, you're so clever. Thank you, I know. Anyways, there is your Grinch. Let's give her a try. Yeah, that is good. That is, this is, there is so much booze in here, but you can't really, the orange juice takes over almost all of it. You got that nice hint of Sprite, kind of giving it a punch feel. Yeah, yep, yep, yep. And then I, yeah, anytime you throw a peach in there, I, I just, I'm automatically gonna love the drink. So, with the holiday season in full swing, give your guys yourself a chance to try one of these delicious uh, holiday cocktails. Also, make sure you're telling your friends and family how much you love them during this hard and difficult time for everybody. Some people might not be able to see their family over this holiday season, so make sure you're reaching out the best you can. It is the giving season, so please give this channel a subscribe. Please give this video a like. Give me tons of comments. Let me know what you guys think. Other than that, I will see you guys on the next video.